Welcome to today's episode of The Growth Zone. I am Christian Bartsch. What is the core benefit of listening to this show? Business leaders in corporate and privately held companies gain insights into trends and strategies that provide them with a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Each episode focuses on an area such as marketing, sales, innovation or funding that is absolutely critical to the growth of companies, whether they are startups or corporate global players, where management needs to juggle the challenges of market entry or knowing how to navigate the uncertainties of disruptive developments. Mind feeding is where clarity evolves and helps solving organizational challenges. For those who listen to the entire episode, I have a special surprise gift. I am working on some great guests that are industry leaders in management, innovation and marketing. Let's get started on today's episode. In today's episode, I want to share with you my interview with Steve Wozniak. For those who are not quite aware who Steve is, or better known as Woz, let me briefly introduce to you the co-founder of Apple. Steve is an American electronics pioneer who in 1976 co-founded Apple together with Steve Jobs. He was the head behind many of the technological innovations that Apple brought out. His business partner Jobs was the creative genius behind the marketing and sales strategy of Apple. After permanently leaving Apple, Steve went on to founding several companies in the field of technology and education. Until today, Steve Wozniak is focused on empowering young people to gain access to science and technology. So let's listen into my conversation with Steve. In today's times, people hold back with innovation because they usually start thinking and are not sure what they want to do. So, how can people gain the necessary confidence to invest in future thinking technology? Okay. Well, one of the things is it often starts with parents. It doesn't really, you know, you think schools are going to give you the education, the path to your, your future job and your future success and, and especially creating new technologies. Really, it's more like these maker groups and parents who buy <clears throat> early kits for their kids. When I grew up, you know, rector kits, and now it's Legos a lot of time. But you can buy these kits with little computers and programs, hook them up to motors, make your own little robots that run around. Getting those kind of, that kind of an early start, it's not worth any money yet. You aren't making things that are money necessarily when you're small, but it's going to get your head moving in the right path, and it's usually totally outside of school. You don't get extrinsic rewards like pay and nice clothing and a jet airplane for it or even a company, but those are the things that let you decide, this is what I want to do if I ever figure out the way to do it. I'm going to pay attention to the building pieces, the building pieces of technology that build up bigger technologies. We build a smartphone maybe, but it's built out of a bunch of little chips. What chips are coming out today? What are the newest ones? So somebody who's very up on that is going to be somebody who's actually involved in building things themselves as they, as they develop. Um, and that's the best advice I can give is just, you know, worry about it. it is going to come from the youth and you aren't going to just, oh, I'm going to pick it up now and say what's important and work on that. If you don't feel it, you're not going to go very far.
I hope you enjoyed today's episode of The Growth Zone with Christian Barge. Thank you for listening. Please leave a review or rating here on iTunes or on podchaser.com. If you found the content helpful, then share it on social media. I would like to invite you to follow our show so that you don't miss the upcoming interviews with leaders in the market. Simply visit the website follow.prmediareach.com. I will be adding the link also to the description of this episode so that you just need to click on that link. For those of you who are listening and signing up to follow the show, I have reserved a free copy of the Ultimate Guide on Content Marketing. This is the strategy that got me top corporate clients like McDonald's, Linde, Hewlett Packard, Deutsche Bank, Volvo and many others. That strategy has been working for over 10 years. It also got me contacts with police, transport authorities, military and several universities and even leading research institutes. For sure, it also worked wonders as it got me many small, medium and size entrepreneurs and enterprises as clients. And that even included international clients from all around the world. The link to sign up for our free broadcasting service and the guide is follow.prmediareach.com That will give you access to the most recent version of my ultimate guide on content marketing. You can follow me as well on Twitter by using the Twitter handle CAP Barge. That's spelled Charlie Alpha, Papa, Bravo, Alpha, Romeo, Tango, Sierra, Charlie, Hotel. Yes, that is C-A-P, Barge. Charlie, Alpha, Papa, Bravo, Alpha, Romeo, Tango, Sierra, Charlie, Hotel.